Welcome to Bat Ranch. We have a sad little kitten here. Come in closely, see if you can see this. Um, I can't tell right now if her jaw is broken or if just her skin is ripped down on her 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 jaw. It's it's really hard to tell, but we just got her. She's probably about a two-month-old kitten. Um, she has been, someone found her like 10 days ago and took her to a vet and got her on antibiotics, but didn't have enough money to do anything else. So she's kind of been passed around and we finally got her. We're going to anesthetize her today and go see, I don't know if her jaw is broken and tilted up or if the skin is just pulled down. Um, but one way or another, we need to do something. So we're going to anesthetize her and get a better look once she is asleep. She is um, sort of about a half feral cat. She's not being mean. She just is very, very nervous. We just got her about three minutes ago. She doesn't have a name. They were just calling her Lil Mama, but we'll try to think of a good name for her. But first, we're going to put her under. Now that she's under anesthesia, we can kind of get a better look. The jaw is actually good. I went ahead and took an x-ray too. The jaw looks like it goes pretty straight, right where a normal jaw goes. And you can see that it, her bite lines up just like normal. So that's really good. All we're working with is all this skin is pulled off the bottom of this jaw. Who knows how this happened. They found her on the side of the road. So maybe she was hit by a car. Maybe she was thrown from a car. Could have been a dog or a cat attacked her. Who knows? But I'm going to try my best to pull this up as far as I can. It, I don't think it's going to go all the way. But as much of this tissue as I can cover, that's that would be ideal for her. And then we'll just try to figure out a way to tie it up there. I may just have to tie it around these canine teeth temporarily just to get it to kind of seat down to all this underlying tissue. Oh, it rips some friction tissue. You're you grossed out, <laughs> Shell. I just feel sorry for the multitude. Ready? Sorry. This is called undermining. I'm just going and trying to make some room between the tissue and the skin. That'll allow it to be a little stretchier so I can pull it up further here. It doesn't look that infected, even though I know this has been open for um, about 10 days. They have had her on antibiotics, which is great. So we're not working with a super dirty wound. I'm sure there is bacteria in it, but it could be a lot worse. Man, even if I pull that all over there, it's not gonna go. It's just all contracted back down. Jeez. Did you need to stay on five? Yeah. Um, I just don't want her waking up during yeah, this and coughing my tube out. My plan is to tie this up around her canine teeth. So I have this going through her lip down here. I'm going to pull this suture around this tooth. Easier said than done. Like this. And I don't think we're going to close it all the way up, but if we can just get it closer and then we can come back in another week or two and try it again, get it a little bit closer. So I think that's going to work. I'll put a couple more sutures around there just to add a little bit more tension in the front here. But you can see this side versus this side, we've pulled it up and covered quite a bit of that underlying tissue. I put two sutures on each side, so two on each side of the lip connected to each canine tooth on the lower side. And that bottom lip is up a lot higher than it was before, so we didn't make it all the way, but this looks really good, a lot better than I was worried it would look. We will see how well this holds. I've never done anything like this before. So if this suture holds, um, that would be great. If she bites through it or scratches through it, that will not be so good. But you can see we, we did pretty good there. The top of her teeth are right there and we've got probably maybe five millimeters of exposed tissue right there that normally, probably not, probably three millimeters of normally um, non-exposed tissue is, is showing still. So we will uh, just kind of see how she does the next few days. We'll keep her on some good antibiotics so they don't get infected. And if she needs a revision in a week or two, we'll do that for her. But right now we're just going to give her supportive care and uh, hopefully she continues to do well. Yeah, that looks so much better. I'm sorry, little kitten. I wonder what happened. Probably a shell hit her. Yeah, I would do that. I love to beat kittens. You got it on film. <laughs> You're going to jail, sucker. <laughs> Been about an hour since surgery and she's doing well. She was up here on top of the cage um, screaming a second ago, wanting some food. She has not eaten anything, but she did use the litter box. So she seems to be 
acting pretty normal. So hopefully she'll continue to improve. It has been three days since surgery and everything looks like it's still holding together pretty well. And honestly, we may not have to do a second surgery on her. We'll see, she's still very skittish. Um, but man, we couldn't ask for much more as far as healing. Kittens are good at healing and that's always a plus, but she seems to be doing very well and eating very well every morning. It's been two weeks since surgery. I'm gonna hold her by her scruff so that we can see under there, get this to focus. But it's looking really, really good. A lot better than it was. You can see that she's still, her skin goes down um, just a little bit further than a normal kitten's would. I think I'm gonna do one more surgery on her. Just a little bitty revision will make it a little bit better, I think. Um, but, I mean, she's doing a lot better than we thought she'd be doing. We'll probably do that in just a few days and uh, give her a little more time to heal up after that first surgery. She wants to wrestle with this guy over here. Come here, I'll put you in there. It's been almost three weeks since we did her first surgery and she's doing so well, um, but we're not all the way there yet. So I'm gonna anesthetize her again today and do a little revision surgery and pull that lip up just a little further we're really close though. So here we can finally see a close up. This is that suture on one side. You can see it came off. The other side's off too. So the sutures aren't doing anything anymore, which we didn't expect it to be doing anything almost three weeks later. But they did do a lot of good. This uh, skin naturally holds way higher before. We couldn't stretch it to a normal position before and now we can because it's been stretched out so far. It's hooked down under here. So we've really made some good progress. And I'm going to do it one more time, and I think that'll be enough to get it up where it should be normally. We have that skin pretty much in the normal position that a kitten would have it, so we're gonna go ahead and wake her up now, and hopefully this stays. I have three different sutures tacking this up here, so hopefully those will last long enough. They're dissolvable sutures, but hopefully they'll stay in her mouth and last long enough that this will tack down and she'll have some normal connections there, but right now it looks really good. Good kitty. Welcome to Kitten Playroom. <laughs> we can show this room. This is ridiculous. So we have three um, homeless kittens here now, but I'm gonna show you her jaw. It's been probably two weeks since surgery and it came up a little further. It's still further down than a normal kitten's, but it's totally functional like this. All the gum is hooked down, so there's not any open area anymore. No place for bacteria to get. She's tired of me messing with her today, but I think uh, that's about as good as we're gonna get with this mouse. So thanks for watching Vet Ranch. Thanks for supporting Abandoned Pet Project because they support what we do, and we will see you next time.